Hi, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, hey guys, we're going to talk about my favorite subject today, which is sales. All right. You know, our subject for today is really, really interesting, and I think you'll really appreciate it. And I went ahead and I thought about it. What should I talk about? Now, here's what we came up with. What are you selling? A good attitude or a bad attitude? That's a really, really good question. So when you talk to yourself mentally, you got to say, what am I doing? Am I doing the right things for my clients? Am I doing the wrong things for my clients? What am I doing right to be able to be successful in selling? You have to have, I guess, to be a really good salesperson or somebody who seems to care about other people, you have to have an attitude of gratitude. You have to have a personality plus, and you also have to consider that, hey, people are important and they matter. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We're just going to have a very simple conversation. And again, how is your attitude being perceived by your clients? Are they good? Are they bad? What are they thinking about you? What are you coming across as when you introduce yourself to your customers? Do they see somebody who's got a nice shave, somebody's got their hair done right, their breath smells good, their clothes are pressed, they look clean, they look impressive? What are you doing to stand out amongst people that may be mediocre salespeople? As a great salesperson once told me, if you want to be really good at something, look at those people that are already there. What do you have to do to be successful? You have to follow the leader. If you follow people who never really done anything and they're giving you advice it's really not good advice it can be very destructive what you put in your brain is very important negative in negative out but i believe positive in positive out it's just really really important what are you selling a good attitude or a bad attitude i'd probably have to say if you're researching this and you're trying to figure out well what am i going to do Am I giving a good attitude when I talk to my customers on a daily basis? Well, I sure hope so. Because if you're not, you're hindering your opportunities to make future sales. If you're treating your customers with good respect because you've talked to them properly, and just remember, listen, everybody can get frustrated over the phone. They can get frustrated in person. People don't always have a great day, but you can help them have a better day. Listen, seriously. You know, what's important and what matters is when you're talking to your customers about selling and your reputation and your attitude of gratitude comes across. And it really, really does. Now, if you are a person who's not like mediocre and is looking outside the box and is trying to figure out, well, what am I going to do? What do I need to do? Well, you're in the right place. (laughs) You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We're just having a basic, simple conversation about your attitude, and what are you selling? A good one or a bad one? Look, yeah, selling is tough, but we don't take out our emotions on our clients. We only give them good service, good attitude. And if you've got people working for you and they don't have an attitude of gratitude and they're talking to your clients on a daily basis, you may end up losing those clients because you didn't know that somebody was talking to them rudely. People will do this. If you give them good service, they'll tell maybe one or two. But if you give them bad service, they're going to tell every single person they come in contact. So what do you want to leave? A good taste in their mouth? Or do you want to leave a bad taste in their mouth? I believe in selling. And I I believe in your reputation. I believe that your brand is very important. And once it's tarnished, it's really hard to have that capability to sell with a good reputation. You know, an attitude of gratitude, I I like to say that a lot. Thinking positive, thinking about good things. Look, you can dwell on the negative and you'll get everything you deserve. Nothing but pure negative. The kind of people I like to enlighten myself with are people that are going to help me to be the best that I can be. And I I hope you feel that way when you listen to what I have to say. You know, it's just my opinions. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. And you know the question again that we attitude was an attitude. Is it a good attitude or a bad attitude? I keep looking at my paper here thinking I'm going to get a, get some information, but in reality, it's just very simple. When you call somebody and you want to have something done and you have 
a person who's on that line who makes you feel like the most important person in the whole world, you have a very good taste in your mouth and you're probably feeling pretty good about yourself. Listen guys, we're in the field of sales. We also work in customer service, marketing, management. People are important and they matter. But if you treat people with the respect that they deserve, and you remember, you treat everybody with a good attitude, they're going to treat you with a really good attitude too. How do you change a bad attitude? You give a good attitude. You know, it's important. And listen, guys, it's important when I talk about these things. An attitude of gratitude, uh, personality plus, being the best that you can be. You can do anything you put your mind to. My mom always tells me that. But again, do you have a good attitude when you're selling or do you have a bad attitude? Remember, how do you want people to treat you when you're buying something and when you're wanting to experience that? emotion of ownership what you give is what you get so back down a little bit just relax have fun remember this is a great job it's a great opportunity we sell stuff we get to help people change their worlds so all i've just had a basic conversation about you know is is it a good attitude that you're changing to a bad attitude or are you kidding this guy beside yourself and you're thinking man he's got such a good attitude well look i'm selling a good attitude I didn't say every day was going to be perfect, but dang, man, you have a choice to make it that way if that's what you want. I didn't say you couldn't have a bad day, and not every day is going to be a perfect day, but you know what? You get to make the choice how you deal with it, and you're going to do well. You've got a great attitude. You're important, and you're happy. You matter. You want to look at the glass, not half full or half empty, but overfilling. That's me. Gary Lee Stanley, we just had a very simple conversation about good attitudes versus bad attitudes and what you're selling. So go out there and sell something. Sell a good attitude because you got one. Hmm, let's think about that. Would you want somebody to treat you with a good attitude or would you prefer they didn't? I want what I want, a good attitude. So I just gave you one. So go out there and sell something and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.